Thousands of people waving Burkinabe and Russian flags demonstrated in front of the offices of the United Nations system in Ouagadougou on Friday against a United Nations report published at the end of May which accuses the army of killing civilians. The protesters, backed by Burkina Faso's Defense and Security Forces, responded to a call from the National Coordination of Citizens' Watch Associations and chanted anti-UN slogans. At the end of May, the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Volker Turk, expressed deep concern at the recent increase in killings of civilians across Burkina Faso, pointing out fingers at both armed groups and Burkina Bay soldiers. The report highlights that between November 2023 and April 2024, the Human Rights Office received allegations of violations and abuses of international human rights law involving at least 2,732 people, an increase of 71 percent compared to the previous six months. Ghislaine Dabire, Secretary General of the National Coordination of Citizens' Watch Associations, says these allegations are unfair and hurtful to those who risk their lives every day to protect their people. According to him, Burkina Faso is in the midst of a war that was imposed on it more than eight years ago by terrorists with the support of outside powers. Throughout the long desert journey, the people of Burkina Faso waited anxiously for the United Nations to come to their aid, but their wait was in vain. Following the Human Rights Watch report, the United States and the United Kingdom issued a joint statement to which Ouagadougou reacted strongly. It summoned the chief of mission at the U.S. Embassy in Ouagadougou to deliver a note condemning the two countries' statement. The same note was sent to the British High Commission in Burkina Faso, based in Accra and Ghana. The report was so badly received in Ouagadougou that all international media carrying it were suspended for two weeks.